All right, welcome back in. So today we are talking about toilets. Uh, this is in response to Ketmol's recent video about how to make the uh, planter boxes under the windows using toilets. He also made a little French balcony. It's fantastic. Uh, got me thinking, eh, what else can we do with toilets? You know, both him, I, and uh, even Chisel Chip have come up with quite a, uh, a few unique things that we can do with toilets. But I thought, what about a mausoleum? Because they kind of look like gravestones, right? So why not? I, I thought this was a pretty cool idea. I even set one out a little bit further. Kind of looks like, I don't know, maybe they didn't put their family back in there, uh, close it up quite as well. You could even have these angled a little bit so that they're. it looks like someone's trying to open it. I'm unclear whether I think the pictures look good because we can't put like writing, right? We don't have any way to put a text on to anything here so I, eh, you know uh, to each their own but i think this i think this looks great this is outstanding for those of you building tombs and crypts and all that stuff and i'm gonna show you to do that and then also actual shutters like real proper actual wooden shutters yes they don't actually function but i this works great and both of these are toilets we can have real proper wooden shutters on our side instead of having, uh, if I go over here, the way I did it on the Build a Better Town is I use these, which is what a lot of us do, and we have them sitting out there, and that looks just fine, but it doesn't quite look give that shutter look because you've got this open, you know. So this over here really gives you a nice shutter look and yeah you can angle them now I put this head here on purpose because when you angle them you can see the toilet so if you're going to do some kind of an angle to give a better look I would suggest have something have this like a corner or a dead end or something where the part that you angle is less visible uh, when you're walking around, that way you're not seeing the toilet sticking out, which, okay, that doesn't look that sightly. So I'm going to show you how to do both right now. It's actually super easy. The toilets are just like incredibly easy. You just take out a couple pieces like this. Just pick your spots. It doesn't matter where you put them. We're going to grab some of the stone toilet. Rotate it. And then the reason I pulled it out is because if you notice... It has to sit on a horizontal plane. It can't sit on a vertical plane. And obviously I want to get it in there and that's not in far enough for what my taste is. So we're going to do this. Again, we're watching the little white circle. By the way, if I didn't say it, I'm going to put Ketmol's video down in the description for the planter boxes where he uses toilets. Go check it out. He has some great ideas. He's given me ideas to do other things uh, by watching his videos. So uh, check it out. Give him some love, like, subscribe, comment on his channel. Show that algorithm that uh, has a, he's a channel that you want to check out. So here's what I'm trying to do. Uh, this is weathered stone, by the way. I am trying to, if you look at the top where the circle is, you see how it starts to occlude into the wall and then it kind of comes back. Now, it's up to you. You could go into where it just like that, right? So let, let's do that one just like that. And then this one will come out just a little bit. So this one I'm going to go, I'm going to go till it occludes and then I'm going to come out kind of kind of like that. Now we're going to go into our one, hit Y twice and you can see how it looks. So this one sticks out just a little bit, this one's very tight against and I think both look great. And if you want to do the top Let's say we just want to do one in the center. Or let's let's do a double up there. It's like there's there's a family, and uh, or uh, sorry, uh, like a uh, two partners next to each other. Why did I close that out? Let's get our get ourselves a little landing to stand on. Right there. All right. So let's get a couple toilets. We're gonna put these side by side this time. So now this one, if you look, there is a center. Where, where the right hand edge is, is the center of these two. So I'm going to come in and I, this one I'm going to do to where it includes and then just pops out. Make sure I'm centered. 
like that. And we're going to do two of these. Now this is the little bit hard part, at least with my OCD it's a little hard to get these just how you want them because hey Keen, our characters are in the way. Please, please, please give us a way to make our character go away when we're building. Thank you. Okay. So you could do it here to where they're separate a little bit or you can do it till it includes like that. And then getting these pixel perfect is uh yeah. It's a challenge. Well that's yeah, I like that. That works. So we're gonna do one, we're gonna hit Y three times. And there you go. So this is how you can uh, build out the tomb of your dreams, your mausoleum, if you want to build something like this. Works great, decorate it all you like, and using toilets. So now we got a window, and we want to put uh, shutters. Sorry, I was trying to call them shades in my head for some reason. So all you need on this is you need to take one block out. One block right there, one block right there. That's it. That's all you need to take out. Now the trick is you need a shelf. So, we're going to angle the shelf like that, and we're going to come up to where there's not that much left. About, maybe, maybe right there? Yeah, let's find out. Now we're going to grab the wooden lavatory. We're going to come up here. Yeah, that's about where I like it. So what I want to do is, I want to, so if you look over here, there's a little bit of stone on both sides. That makes sense because when you shut it, you're shutting the shutters to where it's centered like that. So I'm going to leave just a little bit on each side. Let's go. So look up at the stone piece, right? The mantle or lintel, excuse me. And you see how I'm right at the edge right now? I'm going to clip just a hair, like nothing special, and come till it just comes out, right? there and I think that'll work now I'm gonna take this away because I need to do a second one and I didn't bring enough well look at me I'll have to take one from that other one so then I'm gonna come here now getting these pixel perfect is also a pain in the butt damn that looks freaking fantastic let me take one from this I'll cannibalize I am a cannibal today all right so we're going to come over here. We're going to get back to our shelf first. Once again, we're going to come in from the side. We're going to come down until it's about there. I think that's right. Grab our wooden lav, and that is too high. So this time I am definitely going to fix this because I want to have this just right. By the way, there was a tip I was told. If you do not have selected the spot you want the thing to go back to, it'll go back to it. But if you do have it selected, it won't go back into your inventory there. It'll go back to your bag. So let's see. I had it about there. Let's go just a little bit down. Let's try that. Somehow I made it worse. I just... I just what? Alright, so I'm on one. Now let's see if this goes back to two. Hey, there we go. Alright. Let's give it more room then. I mean, that's more room, right? Come on now. Let's get this. There we go. Alright, so once again, we're going to come right to this edge. We're going to come in just a touch. Just... Boom. Make sure we're getting the right thing, which can be a problem sometimes. Uh, I wish they would make it so that, like, I don't know, it was glowing or something. Or it was glowing and even had the tooltip of the item. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, so we'll come out just ever so slightly. Perfect, perfect. There we go. And we have shutters. Yes, you can see the toilet a little bit. Um, you could go in a little further to make it nice and tight against it, but I, I'm not, I don't think it really matters that much because it gets the point across 
it it showcases what you're trying to do with it you do the little angle and it looks great and, and I think it works so that is two more things you can do with toilets make toilet your art all right thanks for watching everybody